Hello everybody, I'm in the Little Wood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to the channel. So today, we are checking out Fortnite Season 3 Battle Pass 2. There are loads of things inside of this, so let's blast through it so we can get into some gameplay and try and find the brand new hand cannon, alright? So, the Battle Pass this season costs 950 V-Bucks for the base version. If you want to, you can buy yourself 2,800 V-Bucks, which is this tier here, the 20 quid, 20 dollars, whatever, and that will basically grant you the first 25 levels of your battle pass for absolutely free on top of that basically uh, and if you actually bought season 2's battle pass you get awarded an extra five levels on top of that which is really really nice of them so i basically went straight to 30 i've done some playing around today and i've unlocked some more stuff so let's go all the way back to the beginning and we'll show you some of the major highlights so i guess the first one's already been spoiled skydiving trails are now a thing so as well as the ultramarine one there we've got ones like the rainbow one which is kind of cool and then there are some bigger and better ones as time goes on. You can see I've currently got equipped the Rust Lord skin, so it's like Star Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy, one of my favourite movies of all time. So the fact there's a skin, I'm in love. I'm absolutely in love, which is great. Uh, other than that, other new items you can see are the back blings. <laughs> so basically this is like backpacks, other accessories that you can wear on your back. I think if you actually played season two, you actually have access to the black shield. I'm assuming you only get that if you happen to finish the previous season pass, but don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure on that just yet. Um, in the previous tiers, you can also see as well, we've got the new loading screens. So these range from the harvesting tools through to uh, schematics on how to make guns like the tactical shotgun. You can even get this really adorable one which I really really want to use it's the bright unicorn one loads of pink loads of goodness uh, we have of course got a ton of new emoticons positivity we've got uh, what other ones we got the R one for the cat there's obviously new gliders as well in the form of carbon and there's a rainbow one too and then there's this dance yeah smash mouth all star in the shape of a nail on her forehead <laughs> It's so meme -y. I love it. And the music is awful for it as well. Let me get rid of it real quick. Uh, other than that, there are brand new pickaxes, which are really cool. So we've got the Eva one for the space outfit. You've got the Astro backpack as well, which is really nice. And as you go through, you get the Moonwalker outfit, one HP emoticon. You get an all-star trail, which is amazing. Uh, as well as that, there is this one. We all love the Vine. Man, I miss Vine. But there you go, running down the street, looking like that. <laughs> It's from that weird dummy, isn't it? Uh, there is a really cool space outfit, by the way. Dark Voyager is this season's tier 70 item, which is amazing. And you're probably wondering why it's continuing on after this. That's because there are now 100 tiers in the Battle Pass. They've added 30 more on, which is absolutely nuts. Obviously, 200 IQ is a very popular uh, meme throughout the community for people that do particularly impressive plays by placing traps, staircases, positioning, tricks, jumps, anything. People always shout 200 IQ play. Um, I like this one here, by the way. The trusty number two pencil is a brand new pickaxe in Fortnite. And as you get towards the top end, you get cool stuff like the flame trail. You get the kaboom emoticon. You even get the elite agent outfit, which is quite nice. But it's not as good as the one for tier 100. You get John Wick. If you want to get your Keanu Reeves on, if you want to be the Reaper, that's all you've got to do to get to that point. Now, before we jump into a game, the only other thing I need to show you are the brand new challenges. So basically, each week, new challenges are going to unlock, and I'd like to think that you can complete these challenges at any point during the nine weeks of Season 3. Um, so if you have a little look in this one real quick, the first one I've done today is to go ahead and get a sniper rifle elimination. It's classed as being hard, and I got myself 10 points for doing that. Um, the other challenges I've done were the standard tier, ones where I actually got uh, landing in different name locations so I had to land in 10 places that are named so we're talking Salty Springs, Dusty Depot, Flush Factory so on and so forth so that basically explains those and these are more opportunities to get battle pass points as well as more objectives for you to aim towards because if you're like me I was jumping in doing my dailies and then not playing anything else but now you've got these longer goals to be getting on with it's really really cool so let's jump into a game less of the talking more of the action let's go and find ourselves a massive hand cannon. Whoa, 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 whoa! Look at this now. I didn't see anything about this in the patch notes. Look how nice the world looks. It used to be like this big horrible mesh. Why does the spawn island have a health map? <laughs> have a health meter? If you shoot it from a distance, does that now like sink into the ocean or something? That's so weird. Anyway, uh, so yeah, some things I want to talk about in the uh, in the new update. Uh, let's go to tilted. 
No, we're probably a bit late for Tilted. Let's go to that little factory thing just ahead of us over there. But no, yeah, so a couple of things I want to talk about. Uh, one thing that is a huge major update in terms of building is something called Turbo Mode. So this seems to be turned on by default, and essentially it means that if you press and hold the build button, it will automatically place items where you can obviously, you know, build structures. Uh, and it will also automatically change between the types of materials as well. So if you run out of wood, it will change you to brick so on and so forth um it seems really really helpful in that regard so that's really cool and hopefully we'll get to experiment with that a little bit also the building seems to have gotten a little less uh strict as well you can essentially like now no clip through a lot of stuff uh, let me get myself oh my word this is a fairly decent drop actually <laughs> uh, but now before remember that you could maybe you know break a lamppost or a fence or something like that now even if it's an object that you can't break you can still place through it so if i was to grab say some of this fence here look right now look at this staircase here you can literally just wedge it inside it you can no clip it looks brilliant so that's a new thing that you can now do um I'll tell you what let's take it out on that car there we are and let's have a little looky inside of here so pretty much all we're really looking for right now is the new gun. It's called the Hand Cannon. It comes in epic and legendary varieties. Oh, sounds like someone's here. Where is he? Literally don't see him. Let me jump up this way. There he is. Nice. Good shots. Nice. Sorry, mate. I had to kill you off there. Uh, but no, yeah, it comes in epic legendary variants. Um, I just had to triple check the post, actually, on the blog. And according to that, you can find it anywhere. You can find it on the ground. You can find it in chests. You can find it from supply drops. Certain items, when they first get introduced to the game, are only from supply drops. Uh, or they're limited to treasure chests and supply drops. So it's nice that that one isn't too homed in. Uh, let me see. We've got that one there. We've got a nice battle rifle as well. In fact, I might swap those around. So we've got the longer range on the far right hand side. We don't really have anything in terms of like healing items right now. We've sort of gone and used them all. What's that? Is that a shotty? Yeah, okay. Grab all of these as well. Um, other than that, little things, you might notice that the crossbow now doesn't look Valentine's-y. It's now just, it's now just black. It's now just plain. So they basically decided that they were going to keep that, uh, that weapon in. And I genuinely didn't think they would. To me, it felt like a very, very seasonal item. You know, similarly to like the, you know, snowball launcher. Yes, it was very similar to the grenade launcher, but I thought that it was basically going to be taken out alongside it. Let's try out some of this building, okay? So I'm going to press and hold. I'm not going to click the button repeatedly or anything. I'm going to press and hold. And you'll notice that the material changes. And it also seems to now place them above you as well on occasion. <laughs> I don't know if that one's going to be a little bit annoying. I think that for me would be enough of a reason to turn it off. Because if you end up putting a staircase above you and you can't get your like, you know, your vertical height jump, that might actually screw you over it on occasions. But for now, I'll leave it be. But no, yeah, so that's been changed. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, also the map. Obviously, I can't really demonstrate this until I die. Um, but basically now with the map, you can see it in spectator mode. So if you die and you're watching the guy that just killed you, or if you're watching a teammate, if you have to be in a squads or a duo situation, you can now open up the full map. Whereas before, you could only open up... Uh, well, actually, you couldn't open up anything. You could only see the mini-map um, from their perspective. So it was hard to, like, direct and guide people if you were trying to give them advice or, like, you know, little tips and tricks. Um, so that's quite a nice little addition and then the final one which we very likely won't get to see today but on the off chance we do it'll be great uh, now if you get a victory royale you can now control your character for 10 seconds after the victory has been claimed so as soon as that like message pops up on the screen you can move around for 10 seconds which i think is pretty much the majority of the um of the time spent after the lobby like i don't think many people stick around for much longer than that but you can go ahead and do an emoticon you can dance i'm sure people are going to use the uh the take the l dance to be uh, to be bragging and stuff like that like if you go for this one they'll be like ah losers i win i win i can see that happening 100 percent uh what do we got 25 and 25 i realized i just swapped them a second ago but i wasn't sure if i accidentally um reloaded one and it would have meant that i'd miss out on a bit of ammo Anything inside of here? Mm, got a trap. And I think that is about my lot. I'm assuming traps have the same kind of placement as well in regards to the building. I'm assuming they work pretty much the same. Ooh, chest. Here we go. What have we got? Oh, a chug jug. Go on then, mate. Why not? Let's have your... What's that? A pistol? Nope. I am after the new one. Where is it? Is the one in here? Nope. Just a trap. Any more for any more? Um, I don't think there's a chest up there, but there's definitely a chest inside of that thing. So let me go in through the other side. Come on. Nope, we got the new nades, but nothing else. 
so nice actually, like not having to worry about swapping items. Because there'd be so many occasions in the past where I would either click at the wrong time or I would just simply just run out of a certain type of material, which basically meant that I ended up um, dropping off the edge of a ledge because I'm thinking I've got enough wood and I don't. But now that the fact it switches the wood for you is really cool. Now what I'm wondering actually is if I were to do it with metal, does it go to wood because it's going around a, like, you know, the circuit? Or would it go to brick because that's the next strongest one? Let's try it. Oh, no, it does. It circulates back around to wood. So it's moving from left to right, essentially. So that's good to know. And it sort of, like, comes back on itself. It has been a very, very quiet game so far. There's already only 27 people left over as well. Being very cautious right now because we're headed towards Fatal Fields. And normally people are relatively well equ equipped from there. It's a shame that that high ground there isn't inside of the circle because... That's a, uh, a favourite camping spot of mine. Take the family there on the weekends. What are you? No, I'm not going to go for that. That feels like bait. Or, to be fair, actually not that many people have been using those, so chances are someone just decided they didn't want to use them. Uh, oh, this circle might actually catch me up. Let me try and keep up the pace. This makes me a very easy pickings if somebody's guiding a sniper shot at me, but I'm going to need to do this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I might even have to try and ascend to some high ground as well, so this might actually cost me a little bit of health. I just heard an arrow shot or a creek to the left of me. I think somebody is behind me. So let me just try and be a bit more agile with this. There we go. I definitely feel like someone's behind me. And no, I think we're good. I think. Okay, either someone missed an arrow shot or it was a creaking of a building. Either or. Either or. Oh, come on! <laughs> Are you serious? Why is it sending me miles and miles and miles away? I swear whenever I play this game, the circle never lands on me. Like, RNG Jesus hates me. Like, really, really, really hates me. I tell you what, if it's going up towards Tomato Town as well, I can pretty much guarantee that the fight is going to end around here. Just on the eastern side of Tomato Town seems to be a bit of a hot spot. Similarly to normally, the circle would end here to the sort of the eastern, northeastern side of Tilted Towers. Don't know why, it's just I've just noticed it's a behavioural pattern of the circles. It might just be total luck or bad luck, I guess, on my part. But I notice fights end there almost all the time for me. It's really strange. I haven't heard or seen anybody in ages. Oh, as I say that, there's a guy right there. Nice. Oh, got him. Nice. Good shot. A little bit spammy, but it's semi-automatic, so why not? <laughs> that has drawn a lot of attention to my location, though, so I need to be a little bit more careful. See what? Let me try and reload this sniper. Oh, it doesn't need reloading. All right, sweet. Don't know if he had anything on him that we really want. How are we doing on the trap front? Oh, that's all we've got. Okay. I didn't know if maybe I had a, uh, a jump pad. <gasps> is that the new weapon? I think it might be. Uh, let's swap you out for that. So this, everybody, is... Oh, God, what's it called again? The hand cannon. That's it. That's the hand cannon. Let me try shooting something with it. So say I was to go for that structure there. Oh. Okay, maybe it's not as good as I thought it was. Maybe it's only wooden structures that you can break with these. Let me try it with this one. So I'm going to wait for it to be fully built. Then we'll see what happens. Right, you ready for this? Oh. Okay, it's not as powerful as I thought it was. Genuinely a bit disappointed with that. Fair play. Fair play. I mean, I'll keep it on me. I, I, I might as well try and get a couple kills with it. Just for, the, you know, the meme of the video. But <laughs> I mean, I'm genuinely quite disappointed with that. It's really loud. Obviously more powerful than a revolver, it would seem. But... Doesn't take down structures as quickly as it seemed to in the little trailer video. Unless that was because the person was, like, actively building at the time or something. Maybe that's the context of it. Only 14 people left. This is getting a little bit... A little bit sweaty palm territory now. Got sweaty fingertips. Not quite got the sweaty palm going on just yet. Although I am getting a really, really, <laughs> really, really achy pinky finger from holding down shift to sprint. I'm well aware that there's now an auto run in the game, but I just don't like using it. I'm just not comfortable relying on that for my uh, for my motion. Uh, oh dear, the circle is catching up with me. Hella quick. Good thing I've got a, a chug jug. Oh jeez. I bet everybody is sufficiently in the circle by this point. I doubt anybody's this close to getting caught by it. Come on, come on, come on. Man, what I would give for a speed boost potion they ever added that in, that would become, like, the most popular item. 100%. Being able to, like, run circles around people just in a moment's notice would be great. And, like, a small scenario as in, like, you know, being close range with people but even just long range as well. You'd be able to really mess with people trying to guide their shots. So there's a structure up there. 
can only assume somebody's inside of it. Right, where's the circle going to next? Not bad. Ooh! Tell you what, it's ending on the Wailing Woods, which is interesting, because now with the whole no-clip building thing, that's going to make for some really interesting positioning from various different players. I am very intrigued to see how this plays out. I'm going to quickly drink this, get myself up to my maximum, and then we should be good moving forwards. Okay, I'm going to try and get on some high ground here. In fact, maybe if I can chill on the high ground, we might be good. I feel like maybe this might be a better spot for me. Yeah, there's already a guy there building. Whoa, jeez. Come up. Oh, I never even thought, actually. You can now just build these structures really quickly as well. Ah. Never even thought about that. It's not just good for building, like, big staircases for, like, aggressive play. It's going to be good for doing all of this stuff as well. Should we try this gun on that structure? It's really not got that much going on, has it? Oh. Get him. Finish him. Finish him! Oh, dude, come on! Oh, dude, come on. Let's finish that off. Get the wall down. Uh, wall's down again, and poke him off. Oh, my God. I don't know how he's not dead. I do not know how I've not taken down that wall. Are you for real? Come on. Come on. And... Oh, my God! I thought I reloaded that! Oh, jeez, dude. Come on. There we go. Taking that down relatively quickly. <laughs> oh god. There you go. Fully reloaded. Nice. Nice. It's pretty good. It's stopping him to build. Come on. There you go. Nice. Come on. Just keep firing him. That's going to go down. Oh. Damn, dude. Oh, it's just not happening. The potato aim is real right now. Come on. Finish him. Oh my god. He's still got health. How does he still have health at this point? There he goes. Whoa, dude. I had to work way too hard for that. Had my aim not been quite as shoddy, that might have happened a bit quicker. <laughs> All right. So we've seen it's actually quite decent at taking down the higher structure walls. As in, like, so the ones that have the higher strength, they build slower. Sorry, I thought I heard somebody then. Because that's why a lot of people opt for wood when they're going on these like little pushes and rushes is because they build a lot quicker because they've got less health to uh, to stack up. Still a minute and ten until we got to push in, so let me just have a little wander around, see what we can do. Might need to yeah build a bit of a structure there to do that. Seems like no one's really come over in this direction, so that's fine. See, look, what's interesting here is look. So if I build that, the collision box of the tree still messes with you, but the actual um, everything else works against you. So it's kind of weird, like, like, you can build wherever, but you can't actually, like, ascend wherever. Okay, here we go. Let me put this here. I'm basically just going to ascend his tower and see what loot he had. Um, go on then, like that. Nice. I've been using this tactic a lot lately, actually. Instead of trying to land on top of other people's structures, I've basically just been going ahead and uh, climbing on them from beneath. So there's all your bits. Ooh, what else you got? Oh, we had a better shotgun. Sure, I'll take that. Why not? And that's about all he had. He did have another heal, but I don't really want to train anything out for it at the minute. Ten seconds until this begins to close as well. Not seeing any faces currently. Yeah, no. Nothing. Oh, ouchie. Didn't think I'd take any damage there. Right, let's move on in. Oh, jeez. Alright, it's fine. And everything else is good. Let's just stay nice and close to the wall. Make sure everything's reloaded. Ah, uh, there's a structure over there. I bet he's keeping an eye on that supply drop. Oh, you're right there. There we go. Got it. Oh, boy. How many people are left? Three people are left. All we got is the fire there. Okay. Um, F1. There we go. What else do you have? Uh, not really a great deal. Just all this sort of stuff. So I've got a fairly decent idea of where they are. They're probably over in that direction. Just worried about making too much of a presence of myself. Because if they are coming from there, then they're going to know exactly where I am. In fact, I might just start building up now. There we go. We can use the other trees as, like, natural cover, and this will be good. Three people left. Oh, jeez. Now we're actually getting really high up. <laughs> uh, this might not be good for us. I can't see a goddamn thing. Okay. So I'm high enough where I can push in a bit easier. In fact, what I might do is I might push in a bit more. 
get inside the circle, and then just go for that from there. Oh god. Ah! Whoa! I saw a guy, I saw a guy, I saw a guy, I saw a guy. Ah! Okay, cool. Let's just get these structures up. There we go. I'm inside the circle now, so I'm the one to beat, I think. I hope. <laughs> and up we go. Might even go a bit higher. Hmm. Yeah, saw it. Let's go to there. Oh, I see him, I see him, I see him, I see him. Oh, I can't even see anything. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez. All right, shotgun out. Where is he? There he is! Oh, I got it! Oh my god, uh, do the dance! Everybody take the L! <laughs> I thought I was game over for me there, dude. I genuinely, genuinely did. So there we go, everybody. That is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. A completely unexpected victory. I thought I was a dead man at the end there. <laughs> but uh, let me know in the comment section below, what do you think to Season 3 and Battle Pass 2? Which items specifically? Pick one out of the whole 100 ranks. Which one is your favourite? Which one are you working towards? Let me know down below. Leave a like on the video if you watched this far. And I will see you all in a little bit. Bye-bye!